Welcome to Creative Cooking. Today we're going to make some awesome barbecued chicken thighs in the oven. So let's preheat that oven to 375 degrees and get started. We have six of these skin-on, bone-in chicken thighs. I like to use a pair of kitchen shears to trim off any excess fat and excess skin. Even though most of this will render out in the cook, if not all of it, I like to be absolutely sure about that. So I take it all off. And you want to arrange them in a dish like this so that they're all touching each other. It seems crowded, but it's not. And I have four cloves of garlic here. I'm going to split those in half into eight or ten pieces. And what we want to do with that, stick it in between the, you know, the pieces of chicken along the edges and in the center. We're not going to eat the garlic. It's all part of the, um, the braising liquid. Then we want to season that with some orange juice. If you have fresh squeezed, that's pretty awesome. And you don't need much, just a little bit to fill in the little cracks down there. And then we're going to add some soy sauce, not the light stuff, the regular soy sauce. And the ratio between the orange juice and the soy sauce is about one part orange juice to two or three parts of soy sauce. And I like to pour it directly on top because we're going to brown this in the oven for a good long time. And that just assists with the browning, even though really the chicken is cooking in what is essentially a braising liquid. Okay, and you don't want to cover them, just enough to come up to the edges where there's no skin. Then I sprinkle on a little bit of kosher salt, not too much, because we are using soy sauce. And of course, I wouldn't do anything like this without adding some freshly ground black pepper. Now of course, pepper on everything, right? And you, um, you just lightly dust it, and now you're ready to go in the oven. I'm going to place that on the center oven rack, and that's going to bake at 375 degrees for about one hour and 10 minutes minimum. You can go up to a minute and 20. Just don't completely burn the tops. When they come out of the oven, they'll look something like this. And we want to temporarily remove them to a paper plate or a dish to get them out of that sauce because we want to get the sauce out of the pan. But we also want to reserve some of that. And I'll show you why in just a second. I'm not going to use it all. You can defat that first if you want to. And then find your favorite barbecue sauce. I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's. It is my favorite. I'm going to measure out about a half a cup of sauce. You don't need much more than that. In fact, you could probably use a little bit less. Then we're going to take that measured out sauce and we want to thin it out a little bit. We're going to use the or some of that reserved liquid from the bottom of the pan. And that is just to thin it out. We want to thin it out so we can work with it because it's pretty thick to begin with. And the next thing you want to do is take some of that sauce and put it back on the bottom of the pan. You could just take each piece and individually coat them, but we're going to be cooking them in this pan. If you're going to do this on the barbecue, which I actually recommend that you do, then just coat all the pieces with barbecue sauce and finish them on the grill. It does come out better. It caramelizes better. But we're going to do this one in the oven. So we're going to take a pastry, mat, a pastry brush, rather, I'm going to brush the tops and around the sides and use up all of that delicious sauce. Then this goes back into the oven at 375 or you can even raise it to 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. And when it's done, it's going to look something like this. Now let me show you just how tender this is. You see how that's nice and soft? All right, you flip it over on the, on the back side and it just pulls apart. This is like doing fall off the bone ribs. Only we're doing it with chicken thighs. And once you clean it all up, there's no fat at all. None whatsoever. No bones and no fat. Just a tasty, crispy skin. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you come back each week for more great videos made for people who like to cook. Until then, bon appetit.